Okay, boys, you're here? Yeah. Yep. You're listening? Yeah. Exodus 4, 1 to 17. Jesus makes your life exciting. Moses and the angel, the son of God, are still talking. Check out chapter 3 for the first bit of their conversation. Moses is worried about sharing his faith with others. And he doesn't think he's clever enough to be of use in church life. He thinks he might mess his words up if he ever tells anyone about God. And we all feel like that when we want to tell our school friends about Jesus and invite them to church. Moses is just like us. Jesus very kindly says, I will teach you. And that's always the case. Weak people always have a place with Jesus. Sometimes in the playground, when it's football time, you might be picked last for a football team. Has that ever happened? No. Whoever is picking the team might prefer people in front of you. Why might they pick someone before you? Because they're either better or they're your friends. Or they're worse. Hey, why would you pick someone who's worse to go in your team? So you can mix the good and bad players up. Ah, yeah. People who get picked first might be faster than other people, more skillful. Ange Postacoglu, the manager of the greatest team in football history, Tottenham. He's picking the team. And imagine he starts with a rubbish player first. Who's that? Ryan Sessignon. Oh, he's rubbish, is he? I don't know. He's 74 rated in FIFA. He's probably going to start with Son first, is he? Yeah, and Madison. But when Jesus is picking people for his church, he does the exact opposite to that. He picks the weakest first and turns them into great members of the church. Jesus shows Moses a little bit of the excitement that's coming, being part of church. So Moses takes a stick and it turns into a snake. Why might that happen? Because you're in the presence of the Lord. Because snakes are nasty. Because snakes are nasty. Ever since Genesis 3, God's people knew that the snake was a picture of evil, the great enemy of God, the devil. And yet Moses has complete control over the snake because Jesus is with him. And even today, Jesus and his church are more powerful than the devil and dark, scary things. Also, the angel tells Moses to put his hand in his cloak And when he pulls it out, it's covered in a skin disease. But Jesus quickly heals it. Why? It's a disease. If you pull your hand out from your coat, you'll see that your hand was touching your heart. And Jesus was teaching Moses that people have a big problem. A problem from our hearts. What we feel, think, love, say and do is often bad. That's a disease called sin. And it pours out of our heart. Jesus shows Moses that he can solve that problem of sin. And last, Jesus turns a bit of the great Egyptian river, the Nile, into blood. Why? Because it was the main source of water. The river was a source of life for Egypt. And without water, we all die. And Jesus is showing he's going to bring the empire of Egypt down because they've been harming the church. All empires outside of church eventually crumble away and die. And that's why it's important to be part of God's church, the kingdom that lasts forever. Exodus 4, 1 to 17, Jesus makes your life exciting.